Hi folks, today I'm going to be showing you how to do an extremely easy orbital transfer plan here in Kerbal Space Program 1. So I'm going to take this example craft I have and send it to Duna and show you how to get there super easy. You can see all this is, is a little command section, a couple of fuel tanks and an engine, really nothing to it. I'm in orbit around Kerbin and we're going to end up going out to Duna. Now, normally, if you want to be fuel efficient, you'd wait for a transfer window, you'd get yourself into orbit around Kerbin, like we are here, you'd set yourself a maneuver node to intercept Duna and, and plan all that out. But, you know, sometimes I, I just don't want to wait, and I just want to get on my way to Duna right away. And the way to do that without a maneuver node is actually going to, or without a transfer window, is actually going to be extremely simple. So after you get yourself in low Kerbin orbit, just get yourself out of Kerbin's sphere of influence. It doesn't even really matter what direction you're going. Now, I want to stress as I'm waiting for this little escape burn here, this is not efficient. What I'm going to show you is not fuel efficient, but it is super easy. I use this method all the time on one-way trips. If I'm sending a probe out to like Jewel or something and it's gonna be like a communications relay, I just wanna get it out to Jewel and establish an orbit. I don't really care about the orbital plane when it gets there or you know the intercept speed or anything like that. I just wanna get into the sphere of influence of a target. Um, I use this all the time for that kind of stuff because it's super easy even if it's not fuel efficient. You can use this to go from basically anywhere to anywhere in the whole Kerbal solar system with almost no caveats. Let me just time warp here to get out of the sphere of influence. All right, so we're out orbiting the sun here. So all I'm gonna do is set Duna as my target. Now I'm gonna set up a maneuver node to show you that we are not in a good transfer window. All right, so all I did there is I just made a simple maneuver node. I rose my, oh, there we go. I rose my apoapsis to be roughly intersecting Duna's orbit. You can see here, nowhere near a correct transfer window. But here's the thing. The user interface lets you just drag the maneuver node. So you just drag the maneuver node until you get an intercept. And now we have a planned intercept all plotted and ready to go to get to Duna. And that took what, three seconds? Um, it doesn't get any easier than that. Now, obviously this intercept I just set up with Duna here is not necessarily gonna be very good. Um, let me get the camera here. It can be a little weird sometimes to get the angle how you want. So you can see here, I'm coming in, I'm like way off you know, the uh, the orbital plane for Duna and everything. I'm going to be coming in down below it. Maybe that's not where I want to go. You know, you can tweak the maneuver node from there. Oop. You can tweak the maneuver node from here, you know, however you need to get your, your intercept going a little bit more to your liking. But the point is, in three seconds, we got ourselves in intercept with Duna. And I'm going to fast forward and just execute that just to, you know, show you how we can kind of get there. Now, there are a couple of minor considerations. If you're doing something like going to dress with that weird wonky inclined orbit or like out to Elu or, or even down into Moho, um, where it's, its orbital plane is inclined a bit, you can still use this. But what I generally tend to do is... Um, before I drag the maneuver node around my orbit to try and find that intercept or find something close to an intercept, um, I'm going to play with the inclination on the maneuver node a little bit and just kind of go with my gut and get my orbital um, inclination on the maneuver node set up to what I think is probably going to be needed uh, to intercept wherever I'm going, then drag it around the orbit. All right, so we've got ourselves into position. And again, this doesn't have to be ideal. I'm not gonna necessarily wait down here because I don't have to. This is not meant to be efficient. It's meant to be quick and easy. So I'm not gonna wait until the exact second on the maneuver node. 
I'm just gonna burn for Duna. And again, um, we're not using any add-ons. There are no mods or anything like that. All we used was the built-in maneuver node tool. Didn't have to worry about any of the, the transfer window planning or any of that nonsense. Super easy. There we go. And we can kill our maneuver node. And we've got an intercept with Duna. And you know, from there you can do see if I can line up the camera there we go from there you can do slightly more slightly more fine grain controls if you want to adjust that a little bit but we've got ourselves into the neighborhood of Duna extremely quickly without needing to worry about transfer windows or anything else uh, again this is not the most fuel efficient way to get a transfer going but it is super easy I hope this helps and uh, if you weren't aware that the user interface would let you do that, maybe this will uh, help you get out to some of the outer planets a little bit more easily. As always, thanks for watching.